Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make cold amp coupling in solid work. So let's start. Click on assembly. So I am going to make all my parts in assembly mode for the sake of simplicity. If I make you know each part it will take a lot long time. So click on here, click on new part, select a plane as per your requirement. In my case I am selecting the front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for no mask into the view. Draw a circle here. Again, as per requirement, I am giving it a diameter of 200. Press escape. By pressing control, select these two points. Click on coincident. Go to the features. Click on extrude. Uh, extrude up to 30 mm. Click OK. Select this face. Click on sketch. Draw a, uh, draw a center rectangle here. Give it a width as per your requirement. In my case, 50 is fine. Notice it is offset. So select this. Okay, 25. Now, what about the height? Uh, make sure just is, it is above it. You don't need to specify exact height because that is not the issue in this case. So and make it 15 mm. Click OK. Select this face. Click on sketch. Draw a circle here. Ninety. Escape by pressing Control. Select these two. Make coincident. Go to the features. Extrude. Make it forty five. Click OK. Select this face. Click on sketch. Draw a circle here and make it extrude cut. Forty. Extrude cut through all. Click OK. Exit the sketch mode. Add, uh, add assembly component mode by pressing Control and right click on your mouse. Sorry, left click on your mouse. Drag this. Now, what you will do? Click on the front plane. Remember, I am selecting the front plane of the assembly, not the part assembly. So select this. Click on sketch. Now, draw the two lines as I am showing. First one is center to the origin like this and you will draw a line again but this time little bit offset this is why old amp coupling is used old amp coupling is basically used for example where you know have doubts that your shaft will bend so if the load is not high old amp coupling will be you know its initial state but if sir suppose for some reason load is increased so it is a old amp coupling that bends not your shaft of the motor so it will protect for long run if you i don't know about you but uh, i saw it plenty of times in highway projects uh, whenever i went to the college so i saw there a lot in motors it is used there so click on here mate select this face and this one click on concentric click on here to reverse the direction click ok select this face and this axis click on concentric click on reverse the direction click ok now I need a one more part that is basically the plate of it so what i will do i will click on here click on new part select the front plane as per my requirement press ctrl plus 8 make sure no external references is checked on else you will face problem make it 200 ml go to the extrude click on the mid plane and Give it a thickness of 20. Click OK. Select this face. Click on sketch. Select this edge. Click on convert entities. Click on here. Center rectangle. Draw the center rectangle. Its width will be 50. I don't care about the height because it is not going to be considered. So trim out all the necessary things. Same goes at the bottom. Click OK, Features, Extrude, how much? 15 mm. If you remember, why 15 mm? Because the groove size, it is 15. Similarly, select this face, click on Sketch. We will repeat the same step, but this time in horizontal. Convert entities and make it 50. Trim out the necessary lines.
15 click ok as that is having component mode now click on mate select this face and this face click ok select this face and this face click ok select this edge uh, face and this face click ok select this face and this face click ok Uh, okay there is some interference here why let me check so I will click on evaluate measure 15 mm so I have to do it 15 mm I guess okay here it is 7.5 mm so my bad so I will select this part click on assembly click on add components right click features extrude it's 15 mm okay this is the one okay i accidentally select the mid plane that is the issue click on the blind and i think same goes for here make sure that it is not mid plane it's blind so what mid plane actually done is you see extrusion happen both sides i don't want it I wanted a single side extrusion so click ok click on exit address assembly component mode click on this rebuild icon click close now we have this but it is moving so what I can do uh, select this front plane go to the mates select the right plane of the assembly click ok now you can see it will be working now now before i move forward let's give them some color you know to make it look good and let's just see this one uh, let's say painted car the black is the middle one basically it is a rubber material in most of the time So this is how to flex looks good to me. Moving a little bit. Go to the motion study and click on here. Right click orientation. Click on disable so that we don't freeze fail. So that we don't face unwanted issues click on hide all types click on motor select this face select a distance in my case 360 degree how much 0 to 5 seconds click ok uh, click on here to increase the fps let's say 30 fps for better quality animation zoom in let's make this small and click on calculate it will take some time as per your PC requirements or your PCs. So if I make it small, zoom in and make it 3D. Click on play again. So in that way you can make this. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.